Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install NumPy with your Visual Studio Code on your Mac operating system. In addition, I'm also going to show you how you can create a virtual env environment for Python for your uh, scripts. And this video also covers if you want to use any other pip package on uh, your uh, Visual Studio Code, how you can install those kind of libraries. So let's get started. So first of all, I have this folder opened in Visual Studio Code, which is right now empty. Here I want to create a NumPy script. So I'm going to click on uh, this uh, new file option and then I'm going to just uh, create a new uh, Python file. I'm going to name it as test.py. And once this file is created, I'm going to paste a very simple NumPy uh, script here. So the code doesn't matter here. The thing which matters here is you can see import NumPy could not be resolved. So this error it's showing because we haven't yet installed the NumPy package. So first of all, to start with, we can create a virtual env so that when we install a NumPy package, it's only available inside that virtual env and it doesn't install that NumPy package globally. So what you can do here is you can open a new terminal, click on terminal and then open a new terminal. On Mac OS, you will see that the default uh, terminal is ZSH, but you can also open bash or if your uh, Mac operating system supports any other type of terminal, you will be able to see the option here. We are going to use the ZSH terminal in this video. Now, first of all, to create a virtual env, just type Python on your terminal and then press on the tab key and it's going to autocomplete whatever version of Python you have. In my case, Python is recognized by Python 3. If you have any other version of Python, when you press tab, then you will be able to see all the related uh, commands which you can use uh, with Python. In my case, I have this Python 3. So just type Python 3, then space hyphen M, then just write VNV, and then the name of your virtual environment. I'm going to name it as ENV. This name can be anything. So you can name it as anything or any name you can give here. I'm going to name it env here, okay? So I have given this command, which is python3 space hyphen m space venv space env. And what it does is it creates this directory with the name env. And then inside this uh, directory, you have all the virtual environment related files. So once this env directory is created or whatever your name you have given to your environment that directory will be created you will also observe in uh, your uh, visual studio code that this environment here is changed to the new environment so you can switch between uh, the virtual environment or any other python environment by clicking here at the bottom where you see the version of python so in my case i have the python 3.12 virtual environment. I also have the normal Python 3.12 and I have this Python 3.9 uh, version. So I'm going to choose this virtual environment. And now once the virtual environment is created, we need to activate our virtual environment. To activate it, just write uh, source and then whatever name uh, you have given to your environment. In my case, it's env. So I'm going to write env forward slash bin so you can see in this env we have this bin directory which is created and we, and we need to call this activate uh, file right so i'm going to write env forward slash bin forward slash activate and once you uh, write this command just press enter which is going to activate the virtual environment and how you can recognize that this environment is activated you will see this kind of env or your environment name in the parenthesis in front of your command line. So your virtual environment is created. Now 
we just need to install numpy package. So to install numpy package, you can give this command pip and then press tab key on your keyboard, right? So it's going to complete the pip command. If you have only pip, then it's not going to show you any suggestion. If you uh, have pip3, then it's going to auto complete. So you can see I have three kind of pip available. One is pip, other is pip3, and the third one is pip3.12. I'm going to use pip3 for now, but uh, if you have any other version, you can use that. Then install, just write install, and then the name of the package which we want to install. In my case, it's numpy, so I'm going to write numpy here, and then press enter, which is going to install this numpy package. You can see when I have ran this command, which is pip3 install numpy, then it has installed the numpy package. And once the numpy package is installed, I can see this error is already gone when I hover over numpy package. Earlier I was seeing the error here, but now this error is gone. So now I can run my script. So now once the numpy package is uh, installed, I can clear the terminal. And then to run my Python script, I can simply write uh, Python 3 in my case and then the name of the file which is test.py and then press enter and it's going to run my script and show me the output. You can see it shows me the output of my NumPy script. So this is how you can create the virtual environment with your Visual Studio code and then install any pip package using this kind of approach. I have installed NumPy, but you can just write pip3 install and any other package. If you are using, let's say, bcrypt or PyTorch or any other package, you can simply write pip3 space install space the name of the package and that package will be installed on your Mac operating system using Visual Studio Code. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.